five-day round trip began at the Fort Rouge complex outside Detroit. Moving through the Rouge River to the Detroit River, the Benson headed north through Lake St. Clair and the St. Clair River. She steamed the full length of Lake Huron and then made her way through the St. Mary's River and the Sioux Locks. She sailed halfway across Lake Superior to the port of Marquette. And once loaded with ore, she retraced. You say uh, black bottom, where does that term originate from? Okay, Why so black there's, a, of course, there's a debate about it. But most people have come to the conclusion that it comes from the soil. The, the Savoya River ran through the middle of what we, the lower east side of Detroit. It is, that's now, the, the Savoya River was drained and they built a railroad in there, the Grand Trunk Railroad. Today, that's the Dequinder Cut. So the Dequinder Cut was the Grand Trunk Railroad. Prior to that was the Savoya River. So the Savoya River was a tributary of the Detroit River, and it, uh, all the dirt around it, all the soil around it, was very, very dark and, and full of minerals. And so people, you know, farming and all that kind of stuff in there. And, and they named that Black Bottom after the dirt. Okay. But so it became associated with the people as time went on. There because was like the Jans too, the white people did it right. black bottom. So it became a, you know, it became associated with the black community because at some point you, this is the only area for the most part that black people were allowed to live. And it's French. OBN is French, Shane is French, Randolph is actually French. Um, so most of these streets that run into the river are French. And their streets, these streets, were farms called ribbon farms. And the streets, they were thin, long, thin, strip farms that ran. Okay, they weren't big like a plantation, wide, like, rectangular like a plantation, but they were long and thin and ran straight to the river so that you could transport the goods that you were growing onto ships for trading okay. and selling. So, right, you get it right up, you just pack it onto the, to the um, ship, and the ship would go out and you sell that way. And these ribbon farm owners, many of them were slave owners. Not Brush, although Brush was a slave owner for a short period of time. 